Hello everyone, um, in this video we will understand what an API is and also create a simple API using Django REST framework in Python. So what is an API? API stands for Application Programming Interface. API basically helps one web application to communicate with another application. Let's try to understand this with an example. Let's assume you are developing an Android application which has a feature to detect the name of a famous person inside an image. So in order to achieve this, you have two options. Option one is to collect the images of all the famous personalities around the world, build a machine learning, deep learning or whatever model it is and use it uh, and use the model in your application. Option two just use someone else's model using api to add this feature in your application large companies like google and microsoft uh, may have images of all famous personalities so they would already have built a model which can recognize these images you can just use their api to send the image and get back the name of the person in that image you will not know what logic or code they have written inside and how they trained the model. You will only be given an API or an URL. It works like a black box where you send your request, in our case it's the image, and you get the response which is the name of the person in that image. So now that you know what API is, let's create a simple API using Django REST framework in Python. So in this sample API project tutorial for Django, we're going to create a simple API which accepts height data as uh, input and uh, gives us the ideal weight for the given height. For example, I'm sending 5.9 feet as the height and the API is sending me the ideal weight as 59 kilograms. So the prerequisites are, you know, we have to download and install Python from the official website or you can also install the Anacondas version of Python which I personally use and um, keep sure to make sure to you know uh, check the checkbox which says uh, add Python for environment variable and uh, yeah once you have installed Python we're gonna, we're gonna have to install Django and Django REST framework with Python you, you're gonna have to write pip install Django and uh, for Django REST framework you're gonna have to write pip install Django REST framework so if you have installed the Anacondas version of Python you're gonna have to write conda install Django and for uh, the Django REST framework you're gonna have to write <coughs> yeah this line conda install minus c conda forge django rest framework yeah once you have installed these frameworks or the packages just navigate uh, to the folder where you want to create the api project and open the command prompt over there yeah once you've open the command prompt we're gonna create the Django API project using the line Django admin space start project space sample project now sample project is the name of my project you can give any relevant name for your project so once we run this line it's going to create the project sample project folder inside yeah in this folder yeah the sample project folder which contains certain files which will be needed for you know for the api or the django project now once that is created you navigate the sample project folder and the next step is to create a web app inside the sample project folder using the line python space manage.py space start app space my app 
now again the the name my app is the name of my web app you can give any relevant name so once you enter this line one more folder will be created called my app which is the web app with certain files inside it okay now i'm going to open this project using visual studio code which is um, a lightweight editor which i use you can basically use any editor to you know uh, alter the files like pycharm more spider or whatever it is now i'm going to open the sample project from the visual studio code editor yeah so this is how the structure of the project looks like with all the files inside it the first thing is you know we're going to navigate to settings.py file and inside installed apps section we're going to add two lines of code which is rest underscore framework and the name of our web app in our case the name of our web app is my app so once you've written it save it and the next we're going to move on to a file called views.py where we have to write the logic to calculate the weight of a person uh, with a given height data so i'm going to add the certain dependencies which we will need to you know get that json or whatever data and sending back the response we're going to have we're going to need uh, all those dependencies and we're going to write the post method which is ideal weight so whenever api is called with height data we're going to call this ideal weight method which is going to calculate the weight of a person uh, in this case, I'm going to simply multiply height with 10. Um, this is just a dummy logic, you know, for demo purposes. And I'm going to send the response as ideal weight should be as uh, and the calculated weight. So I'm going to add this method inside views.py file. Let's save it. And the next step is to go to the urls.py file where we're gonna have to write the URL with which we're gonna access the method which we just wrote. So yeah, I'm gonna add the dependencies first. And then we're gonna add the URL. This particular URL will call the method ideal weight. Okay this particular method will be called with the URL this URL so we're gonna add this URL inside urls.py file save it and then we're gonna start the server or the API using the command python space manage.py space run server so meanwhile uh, when the server is about to start i'm going to open the postman postman is basically used to test the apis if it is working fine or not it's free to download and install you can install go ahead and install postman so yeah the server has started and we can access our api with this url so i'm going to copy this url and uh, paste the url in the postman yeah. so in order to execute our method we're gonna have to call the url which we just configured in urls.py section i'm gonna copy this url which is going to call the ideal weight method yeah now i'm gonna send the height data in this case um, i will i'll be sending 5.6 feet as uh, the height yeah and once we 
send this request we will get back the response as the ideal weight should be 56 kilograms yeah so this is how the api you know works so once uh, you have done the testing and all if you want to stop the server you can click on you know control c and you can stop the server 